um, open quantum system is the title of today's talk is complexity complexity in unitary dynamics of thoughts. But you can it's okay. Yeah. Thank you for the introduction. Yeah, I'm Ken Motaki. Yeah. Yeah, today I I want to talk about uh, dynamics of photons. So my take home message is uh yeah. Yeah, if we consider the dynamic of uh photon, yeah, then uh yeah, such a situation is uh profoundly related to the computational complexity. So oh, oh, this is a set uh is uh profoundly related to the uh work. Field of physics and other uh, mathematics. So I think, uh, yeah, that the relation is uh, very, yeah, interesting. So uh, I want to introduce such uh, the concepts. So yeah, as I said, uh, we consider the dynamics of uh, free free bosons or uh, photons. So we, yeah, we consider uh Many photons. Yeah, this uh, yellow type uh, represents the uh, photons and are, uh, yeah. yeah. Many photons are injected, and uh, yeah, these photons uh, proceed around these uh, directions. So and they pass through various optical elements. Oh, yeah, I think uh, many of you are not familiar with such optical elements. So, yeah, one uh, very yeah, one example is a uh, beam splitter. <laughs> so, um, if one uh, two photons pass through a uh, beam splitter, uh, then, uh, yeah, creation operator of photons are plankton, for example, uh, by that, yeah, what is it? So, uh, here are uh, the number one and the two are uh, represented uh, are injection points, yeah, such as, yeah. These uh, one, two are uh, present to uh, J of one and J to two. So, yeah, one uh, representative example of the optical element is uh, such a thing. So, yeah, 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 this is one example. Yeah, but uh, in general, uh, the creation operators on one side is uh, one formed by it. Yeah, these are uh, yeah, photons explain that there are linear transformation uh, by these uh, optical elements. And here you represent the uh, effects of such optical elements. Uh, in this example, uh, this part for you. Mm -hmm. So uh, then uh, after photons passing through uh, various optical elements, so, uh, Photons passing through are um, very deep and uh, psychic. What is that used? One minus one, one minus one. And this is uh, our element of uh, uh, the matrix element. So uh, these are, uh, in general, this part is a uh, unitary. Okay, but what well, you wrote was not unitary, right? You wrote one minus one. But now you erased it, now you're unitary. One, one, one minus two. One, one minus one. Oh, sorry. Okay. Yeah, this is a unitary. The original is not unitary. Okay, yeah. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. But uh, as a, uh, in my study, uh, I consider uh, no unitary uh, as a general. So, uh, but uh, usually uh, people consider the unitary for the reason. So after photons passing through various optical elements, uh, at the output spots, yeah, the various uh, complicated Various configurations. Yeah. 
Yeah, so the output is uh, generally uh, very complicated. So, yeah, in some sense, uh, this <coughs> uh, setting is very similar to the uh, very famous uh, young, young experiment. So, yeah, if you are familiar with the quantum mechanics, yeah, for know the uh, that's a famous experiment. Uh, in, in this experiment, uh, one uh, electron or uh, one photon passes through the yeah, double slit. And uh, then uh, on the screen, the uh, interference uh, pattern appears. So um, in our setting, uh, double slit uh, becomes uh, uh and uh in the young experiment uh uh we consider only one double switch but uh, in our setting uh one double switch are uh, many optical elements so this is uh, one kind of a uh, very fundamental experiment setting in the quantum mechanics so in such a setting uh yeah, we consider the uh, quality distribution of photons. So <coughs> we consider the distribution as uh, Dx. <coughs> so uh, I explain the meaning of X uh, in the morning. So, but uh, yeah, Dx is given by the uh, permanent of the matrix. So uh, I explain how uh, these quantities one by one. So at first, yeah, X is our uh, uh, sorry, X uh, is our uh, an um, out of its configuration. Yeah, such as for example, uh, And one equal zero and two equal one, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, and one and zero is the number of photons. Also J. Yeah. So uh, X is uh, one of the configuration and permanent of UX is defined by the Yeah. So uh yeah, J corresponds to the uh the both number and omega is a permutation of the whole configurations. Yeah. So a quality distribution of photons is given by uh, such a permanent matrix U. <clears throat> so uh, here, uh, one important thing is that it's equal to UJ, UJ, that J is that J, and what is the relation with UIJ? Uh, uh, sorry, uh, uh, it's, it's one? Yeah. What is UJ? Uh, yes. Uh, UJ and uh, second index is uh, omega J. Oh, second index. Oh, this is uh, the in the index. Yeah. Omega is the index. Ah, uh, yes. That's uh, so, uh, a permutation. Yeah. And this is a permutation. So, uh, one important thing is that uh, if we want to do compute the permanence of UX, then X. Yeah, can be hard for classical computer. Classical. Yeah, classically means that uh, we use a uh, usual computer and uh, quantum computer. So, yeah, if we want to uh, yeah, compute this, yeah, it's big 
uh, can, can be helped. First, let's see. Uh, is there uh, an assumption or is it a fact? Uh, sorry, uh, what? The probability distribution. Uh, this? Uh, this is not an uh, assumption, but uh, it can be derived uh, from the organic uh, statics. Uh, yeah, so that is true in this system. Yeah, yeah, it, this is not the assumption. So, uh, yeah, thank you. Yeah, it is uh, also one in, uh, interesting thing, I think, because such a computational complexity originates from the such a bosonic statistics. This is a intrinsically quantum So, such a fundamental concept of related. So, can I ask? Mm, yeah, so, what is UX related to the quantum circuit? Because there is a lot of up. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I forgot to uh, state the definition of UX. So if you uh, if I like the transport of U as a uh, um, matrix, then uh, yeah, UX is some uh, one uh, sub matrix. This sub matrix is uh, defined as an input for that. Input for. So this part of UX. Yeah, yeah, that U is the, the entire quantum circuit. Uh, you represent the entire quantum circuit. UX is uh, the sub Yeah. Uh, in order to intuitively understand this, uh, how is that block chosen? Sorry? How is that block UX chosen? Uh, the, I think uh, input spots input spot are fixed, and uh, we can uh, orbitally output. If we choose one uh, configuration, then UX is fixed. X is associated with the output. Yeah, yes, X is our output. What about uh, input? is fixed. Input is fixed. So U, UX is determined by U and X, or do you choose U? Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, so, UX is determined by U and X. You have the X. Uh, sorry. No? Even U and X, how do you get U X? Uh, so uh, in this situation, uh, we fix the uh, uh, first we fix the uh, input form. And then uh, and uh, U is given if we fix the uh, such a circuit. And if we choose one X, one, one configuration, then uh, we can uh, Extract the UX from that U. So, why, why is there a block? I mean, it's not pretty naive, but it seems that X is just one element. So oh, okay, so so maybe it's uh, only a 15 minute talk. So, maybe <laughs> just for the clarification, the quick question, and then you can wait the question uh, for later. Okay. Yeah, so, sorry. Yeah, so, so uh, this. So uh, my take home message is that uh, yeah, computing uh, permanent UX is uh, it can be hard in some way. Uh, but uh, so it's not always hard, uh, so, but can be hard. So yeah. Yeah, physical station uh, determines the uh, hardness of computing permanent. Uh, so uh, this means that uh, computational complexity is related to the, for example, physical uh, yeah, concept such as yeah, and yeah, yeah, dynamics and so on. So so uh, why I skip the details, but uh, such a yeah, physical concept can be related to the uh, computational complex. So uh, I am interested in such uh, relation. So uh, in my study, I'm extending uh, such system into yeah, yeah, lossy system uh, where photons can get into the uh, environment. So in such situation, uh, such situation are uh, uh, non-trivial. So yeah, I'm trying to move in. So, uh, it's time. So, <laughs> thank you.
Okay, uh, thank you very much uh, Zivik -san for a very interesting talk. So maybe there are many uh, other questions, but uh, yeah, there, because there's a lot of questions. Is there any point you may want to clarify at this point? Why well, is it all? Okay, okay. if not, uh, then let's uh, ask a question from the audience. Oh, yeah, I think I have the same question to Yantel. Why is the submatrix? X means just out of time. Yeah. And then uh, in transport, transport is the big matrix is the indices I and J. Yes. And then why, how do you relate? I still don't understand. So, X is not the index of uh, IJ, but it's the index of. Uh, Occupation number. So somehow the <laughs> representation is mixed up. So uh, this is a very, uh, very large representation. Uh, I would put both. Uh, uh, so, yeah, what on, uh, what on is this kind of uh, uh, a uh, post where the NJ equal to zero is neglected. So NJ is the number of photons. So the other photons are there are one photon or two photon or one photon, not zero photon. So you take the rows such that row i such that ni is not equal to zero. So you choose those rows from UP. That's the way you find units. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, maybe you, uh, you have seen the right thing. So, from this example, the output of this is j equal to one. So, this is because uh, n2 equal one, but uh, n1 equals zero, then this is connected. So, the output of the are yeah, determined in such a way. Is it zero or one? I think it's two or three. Or ah, yeah, two or three. Oh, okay. So, uh, uh, in the case of NJ equal to, uh, there are two, uh, the two same uh, rows. Yeah. Number of input ports and ports are the same. Ah, yes, yes. The number of photons are constant. This is a uh, square. Yeah. So this big matrix is infinite dimensional, it's huge. Uh, it's usually, it was as a finite. finite. The, part, the photon number can go all the way to infinity, right? Uh, the number of photons is uh, fixed, for example. So oh, I see. So there, uh, there's a matrix size. So there's a definite number of photons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there any reason to think of this as photons instead of a generic photon? Uh, yeah, we can consider the generic photons, but uh, experiments are easy for photons. Do you inject one photon at one size, or you can inject multiple photons at the same size? Yeah, it, uh, it's possible. Yeah, the formal reason it becomes the same. Uh, in such a case, uh, the UX includes the uh, several the same uh, lines so, uh, corresponding to the several problems. Such a manipulation is also possible in the internet. Uh, uh, yeah, yes, but yeah, let's say multiple photons can let's say inject one of the J for one size. Uh, uh, sorry, I don't know the details of that. Uh, in the in between to lose photons in between, or you already there? Uh, sorry, I don't know. Uh, in between, can you lose photons? Can the medium absorb photons and keep them there for a while for you, or you will never never have? Can you excite the number for a long time? Sorry, I don't know. Uh, please, uh, please discuss it. Okay, yes, yeah, so, yeah. If you enter it, right? Yeah.
Questions from Go ahead. How do you know that you have a loss? You don't, I mean, measure in between, right? And then the number of photons can change. How do you know that there is a loss or no loss? Yeah, uh, in my study, uh, I consider the uh, loss in a circuit, but theoretically, yes. Theoretically, yeah. Uh, experimentally, how do you know? experimentally, if we uh, count the number of photons, if the number is constant, there is no loss. But it's easy, no, it's not Photon number is constant? Ah, uh, yeah. And we can choose uh, several uh, experimental results, uh, such as process is called post selection. And there are many configurations of uh, one loss to two bottom loss and so on. Yeah. Among these experimental outputs, uh, we can choose one uh, output where bottom is not close. Oh, so so the number of bottom is. Okay, any other question from, uh, is everybody okay at that Zoom? Okay, it seems uh, at the moment everybody is happy, I guess. Okay, thank you very much, Motilik-san, again, for very interesting talk and uh, interesting discussion. Thank you very much. Okay, so people at the common room can interact more informally. <laughs> and I keep the open for a while.